We're gonna adopt. Adopt from China. My child is not returnable. Three years later. His now new forever family. There wasn't a minute that I didn't try our hardest. There's not a minute that you didn't try your hardest other than the minute that you gave him away and then went to Bali without him. What you want about love? The last couple months have been like the hardest thing I could have ever imagined. Pouring our guts and our heart into this little boy. You do your research and you do your research right, you could have a liquid gold mine and it could be insane. Once you get that desirable and a lot of brands are kind of fighting for places, rates get a little bit higher. That little boy is liquid gold to my heart. We recently adopted a little guy from China. Okay. For one reason, money. When we adopted him, he had a totally different diagnosis than what we were told. When I heard all of the things that that doctor was telling us, it kind of went in one ear and out the other. First of all, I used to be an oncology RN and I was taking care of cancer patients. It wasn't my jam. I was depressed. I was bummed out. We were told that he had a brain tumor and as a cancer nurse, I was comfortable with that. Oh, well, isn't that convenient? We knew. No matter what state he came to us, that we would love him. He actually had severe brain damage, okay. autism. He is developmentally on track. He is talking, he is walking, he's throwing balls. <coughs> he's climbing furniture. He's acting like a normal one-year-old. And some severe delays. Doing things that are beyond his developmental schedule. He may live with me for the rest of his life. Something that we just literally were, were not, not ready, ready for. He's one of my best friends in the whole wide world and, and I don't want him to die. She's the worst in the world. So this is by far the hardest video James and I have ever publicly had to make. Are you sure? <laughs> Sometimes there's unknowns and things that are not transparent on files that have been upsetting, really upsetting for us because this is not what we've ever wanted to hear. We've never wanted to be in this position. We most likely knew we wanted a kiddo that was a special focus. Kiddo meaning that they had a medical condition, or maybe they had a disease, or maybe they had a diagnosis that is unfavorable. Like I said, we sat down with tons of different physicians, we called different doctors, huh? we chatted about different things we knew, just so that we could be really well educated on different conditions. And it's just been a really hard place to be in. Originally, we were talking about Uganda and um, Ethiopia. Our hearts were really strong there. That could be a great place for us to adopt after we adopted, yeah. after we adopt from China, because we, we were looking at potentially adopting twice. When I saw him, I just lost it. I cried so hard. My heart couldn't quit beating. <sighs> I just pray to be an amazing mom to him. I'm a better mom today, and I can't wait to see the lessons that he teaches me. Why am I crying? His new mommy has medical professional training, a very good fit. This bitch can't be serious. I wouldn't take back any of those hard days or any of those moments because it taught me so much. I wouldn't call it a failure, but I would call it something that was really, 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 really challenging. Um, all I want to say is I'm bonding with my kid. I'm doing what I'm doing. We put our lives on social media and I'm not going to have people sit there and treat me like a full Favorite name is Geronimo. Okay. It is a Native American name. Hey, Geronimo. Hey, hey. Another name that I love is Mazarin. I think it is... Because I'm not going to take it. I'm not the kind of person that just takes stuff. Do I feel like a failure as a mom? Like 500%. So when you get like insidious hurtful comments, it just like really makes it hurt worse. It's not about me at all. And we've been trying to get him, get his needs met and help him out as much as possible. We're having meltdowns because we've already had breakfast and we just want to keep eating. It's not time to eat. So sit down. You have to wait. You can have a snack. I don't have a problem giving him as much food as he wants. It's more principle. We don't just throw fits to get our way, so we're trying to work through that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm not having a good day today. We never tell you guys the truth. And that's why you don't see how on the vlog. He's probably having a meltdown. Are you done? 
He's just I'm having a bad yourself. day. He's a grumpy day today. We've been trying to protect his privacy, his rights, and also just try to not mess up his future that was laid out in front of us. We're trying our best to make sure we don't impact that at all by making this video. Father of the year. It's really hard, isn't it? Huh? I mean, we truly love him. What are you doing in there, man? You reorganizing the shoe closet for me, eh? <laughs> Come on, let's go. You're not gonna throw fit when you don't get your way. That's not okay. Let's go. Are you done fitting? <laughs> this is a little bit different for comfort. It's a little bit different. It makes them happy. And the thumb guard never worked. Yeah, thumb guard practice never worked. Because he was so smart. He was either really mad or he pulled it off. No, he always figured out how to pull it off. Pulled it off, but always. usually he was very mad before that. If he didn't figure it out right yeah. away. Yeah. yeah. So it was just one of those things where it was just let it go, get him talking first and kind of work with him and let him have that comfort for a little I can't say enough how hard Micah has tried throughout this entire journey and the amount of effort she's put into this. What is it like to be married to a man with two assholes? The adoption agency, like they were able to place him in what they felt was literally the perfect match. I think he's definitely my son, aren't you? Are you my boy? Yeah, you like fast cars too, like rad. It's so cool, guys. I'm so glad that he is part of our family. I couldn't. I couldn't do my day without him. Our connection as a family has gotten so profoundly amazing. He is easily one of my favorite people in the entire world. If he ever watches this many years from now, I just want to tell him, thank you. I will send you to Jesus. Just because I may be positive on my stories or be having fun, doing something fun, doesn't mean that I'm not like still horribly hurting. And the same for Jim. Uh huh. We have some viewers who have been just like so incredibly kind and respectful of our son's privacy. I just want to say thank you. Like that really got me through some really hard times. Oh, good for you. Like you have no idea what that means to me. And some of the special messages that you sent, like just thank you. Thank you for the book. I'd rather put out a campfire with my face. He is thriving. He is very happy. He's doing really well. It is a very good fit. Oops. Quack.